But one that kind of blew everybody's socks off was uh, a middle school girl. But I'm guessing she was about 10, 11 years old. I remember she was like thin as a reed, probably weighed like 75 pounds. And she's standing and telling this story. First, she talks about all her other four members of her team because she wanted to make sure that she, knew she was giving the presentation, but it wasn't her story, it was our story. She named da, 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 and so-and-so and so-and-so, and so, her little team. In a science class, like some of you kids here, because I've heard some of the stories, the teacher's talking about energy, and they're getting really into alternative energy and what can be done, and they say, our school should have alternative energy. And the teacher says, yeah, we really should. And like some of the educators here, it was the teacher who said, great, what do you want to do? How can I work with you? We make a long story short. These kids with their teacher analyzed a lot of different possibilities. They got a lot of their parents involved because they needed to kind of look at some of the engineering options. And they came with the idea they wanted to build a vertical wind turbine. These five, 10 year old kids, they want their school to have a vertical wind turbine. And because, you know, they'd worked out to some of the engineering ideas with the teacher and some other parents. There's a great way, of course, to involve a lot of the parents. And then she's telling this story, and she said, oh, we got this idea, da, da, da. And we had our first meeting with the principal, and it was good. And the principal said, we got to talk to the local mayor. This is a part of St. Louis that has a local governance system. The, the local mayor, uh, because this mayor will have to kind of be behind the idea. And then I remember she said, you know, I thought the first meeting with the mayor didn't go very well. She didn't ask us many questions, and we left thinking that maybe she really didn't think it was a great idea. But then we got invited back three weeks later to do another presentation. So we're back. He said, that time the mayor said, I think it's a great idea. I think you should do it. Anyhow, this is the story this 10-year-old girl is telling to a group of about 250, mostly adults, you know, three-quarters adults. And people are going, wow. And of course, the end of her story is a photograph of this beautiful vertical wind turbine sitting there in her school. And she's describing just how much percentage of the electricity for the school comes from the vertical wind turbine, how it varies over the day, over the seasons, over the year. And people are just like, you five kids did that? Now at that point she had everybody's attention. And so then she could say what she was really there to say. It was really clear. I, I give a long rambling discourse on this because I'm an adult. She did all that in about a minute and 50 seconds. She's a kid doesn't waste words. So she stands there. Now she's got this, you know, audience just like, she says, so, we all, we, we kids, we always hear that you are the future. We don't believe this. We don't have that long. We need to get started now. We're ready. Are you ready? 